Same with them. They don't see the energy they we the audience. So it's a, like a generator. And, and, and looking at the energy of the audience, giving it back to us. I feel good. That's an unexplainable feeling. Yeah, for the energy for me. For real, it's just it's an unexplainable feeling. Put your hands up! Yeah, come on! Right now, we just basically working on it. We're in the like, pre production stages because we have so much material. And we've been making so much throughout the years that uh, it sounds like kind of like outdated to us, you know. But it, it sounds fresh to like the, the new ears who hear it. But you know, we have so much to say that you know by the time we will come out with that material, it'll be old to us, yeah. you know. So we want to have something fresh. But we um after we when we go home, we go right back in the studio and start working some more. So after Eminem has this run with the uh, relapse and. Maybe relapse two. We either be before relapse two or after relapse two. And most likely, it's probably going to be after. Mm -hmm. yeah. But, yeah. But we are we are working on a, um, a massive mixtape called Return of the Dozen Volume Two. Yeah, you mentioned it. Yeah. So you know that they got a lot of uh, original material on it, and they got some material on there that we did back in the back in the days. Then we got some, some brand new material also on there. So you know, just to build up. You know, it's different because it's all original. You ain't rapping over nobody instrumental. Good. You know, so it's almost like a, a miniature album. Yeah. But it's a mixtape. Because we got more. We got more. Everybody, put your tools up for Big Proof. Say Big Proof. Big Proof. Say Big Proof. Say Big Proof forever. Say we have a long way to go before we hit a peak of dopeness and success, but <laughs> I'm not saying it arrogantly either. But you know, we just doing us. Yeah. We don't concentrate on on like putting like people in certain positions like that to get a record deal. But if it happens for them, it happens. But we'll definitely like slide a CD to you know to M or you know whoever. But we're not gonna keep pushing them. Like, did you listen to the CD yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but. Um, Nah, we don't really like go out looking for people like that. But if we come across something good, like like Obi for example, Obi Trice, mm -hmm. and he was good, and we passed him along to M, and you know M signed him. So uh, that hasn't happened in a while, as far as Shady goes, in Detroit at least. But um, we 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 don't look for anything. But if we come across something, we'll definitely pass it along. Yeah. Yeah. 
Functioning alcoholic. Okay. I can't say he's an alcoholic. I just say he can handle his liquor. Like, what's your drink of choice? Ooh. Guilty as charged. Um, what's your drink of choice? I like Patron Silver. That's like a okay, well, you got finest, a minute, you know, finest of tequila. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very fine tequila. I take one shot of it and it comes I'm out. It comes in a very cool cold. bottle with a nice brown cork. Preferably you know, cold. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I prefer a cold. No ice, please. No ice, no chaser. I chase it down with no glass. saliva. You <laughs> <laughs> made that exotic. You <laughs> made it sound like a delicacy. Yeah. I chase it down with saliva. Saliva. <laughs> Till day. Wow. Yo. D-Tweezy is in the house. What up, dude? My partner works to buy a nickel in the house. What, what up, up what up, what up? Music. We would like to thank you for watching music slash news. Dot com, baby. In the house.